Hi, this is Paul from Dynamic Diesel Performance and Machina. Today we're building a 6.0 Power Stroke Diesel short block here for a customer in Arizona. I want to do a quick video on how to install pistons. Um, I know this is a very archaic and a lot of people are like, oh, it's easy to install pistons. Well, we have a lot, we sell these a lot of these rebuild kits to people. We have issues with them breaking rings and stuff like that because they're not installing them correctly. And I wanted to make a quick video on how we actually do it here. Um, so here we go. This is a 20 over block. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of assembly lube on it. We do sell the assembly lube. It comes with our kits. As you can see, I usually paint it on. Now, with the rings on the piston, what we want to do is take some oil and put some oil on the actual piston like that. Then you take it and spin it around, spin the rings around. Because you want to do is get all the oil spread all over the rings. You want to take the top bottom ring, space it 180 apart from the second ring, see, and then the top ring 180 from the second ring. Then it's ready to go in. You can put a little bit on the skirts. We usually squirt a little oil inside the cylinder real quick just to lube it up. After it's been cleaned, this block's been completely cleaned. Slide the piston in, like so. Here is our ring compressor. These are available at any auto parts places, online, etc. I've been using this one for years. A lot of guys are using the barrel style clamp with the little um, wing nut that you buy for $13 at the auto parts store. Don't use those. These are over a $300 set of rings. Do you, and if you keep breaking rings, um, we get guys that will send, we'll send them a kit and, oh, well, it came with broken rings in the package. No, you broke them installing them. They don't come on the pistons when we, when we send them. So you have to put the rings on them. So either you broke them installing them or you broke them installing them into the engine, trying to get them in the engine. So with that said, you just kind of you take this ring compressor like this, you square it up, you squeeze it until it locks. It's got a little bit of pretension on it. Take that butt end of a uh, rubber mallet and you slowly tap it in. That easy. Now with that said, we use a uh, handy dandy uh, pry bar here and you guide the rod in slow, ever so slightly and just keep tapping it. Make sure you don't hit the actual main journals as you're putting it in. Put the cap on, make sure that it's tang to tang, tang to tang. Some of the newer rods have the little thing that, that, that kind of gives you a reminder that they do go together like that. And we take our little zip gun here and just zip them down until we get all the rods in and then we uh, torque them to 54 foot pounds. This is Dynamic Diesel. Thanks for watching.